crowd here at Rupp Arena. Even though the team may not be in midseason form, this crowd's been on top of their game right from the first exhibition game. They were great in that comeback the other night, and they're great already. Patterson, nice look to Bledsoe, and the Cats hit their first tray of the night. Got a good pound inside. In. Inside they go, and Cousins couldn't keep the handle. But look at him with the follow. I I'm telling you, Coach, sometimes players don't get messages. That's the message that was delivered in the second half the other day, and in shoot-around has been heard loud and clear by all these cats. Does. And let's see how the freshman responds on the defensive end. Got a hand on that pass, but it got through. And it helps side defense. They're bouncing right back, attacking back, not stepping back on their heels at all. Lance PB House, number 21, back in, checking Ramon Harris there. Has Bledsoe with a nice crossover. And if Yogi was here, you'd be hearing deja vu all over again as Sam Houston State has hit its last three threes. But feel good. You tell the coaches they're going to put you right back in. It's not like they decide almost a shot clock violation there. They said Dre Murray got it off, but it was no good. And a great lead as Bledsoe saved it. Cousins finished it. There's little things they should be doing at this point, even though it is early, is Daniel Orton maybe gets away with a foul that time. But they're just not clicking, it's not registering yet. Nice kick out from Wall to Miller. And he now answers at the other end. Yeah, Kentucky should be looking there every time. Took about four passes before he got it down low, even though he's open. Mitchell lost control, and Bledsoe with the lead to Wall. 33 points have been behind the three-point line, two two-point field goals, and then it's free throws. Eight of their last nine baskets have come on threes as Cousins gets free and finishes again. By his coach, didn't pout, reacted to it. Gave him what he wanted. Whoa! Oh, what a burst of speed! And he but man, Alvin is on fire. A hang time three-pointer that time. Eight of 11 from outside the three-point line. Miller, can he answer? Yes! This issue. Nobody's advocating violence, but when somebody starts hitting shots, as Wall spins it in. ...that you're on the floor. Because right now, players are shooting when they close out. The Kentucky defenders are keeping their hands down, and they can look right over the top of the heads of the defender. Preston missed that short jumper, and Bledsoe starts out the second half the way he started. It shows a little zone now. They've only done that for about a trip, and credit that to the good outside shooting of Bledsoe and Wall. The bent knees. Pointing at the basketball on the help side, recovering. You know, I, you know, at this level, it doesn't make any difference whether you're playing in the Southland Conference or the Southeastern Conference. As Patterson gets the jam, you can't let people catch and shoot. No, if you're a Division One basketball player, you should be able to make a wide open. Hard at both ends, but it has not been pretty the last several trips. Five on three right now, both Wall and Cousins on the ground. There's Brown again, and we talked about that bad hamstring twice in a row. He's come up short, and look at Wall with the body control, and he gets it to go. And you know, it was seven. And what kind of set do the Cats come up with out of the timeout? Just ran a two-man high game, slipped it with Cousins, and kicked it back off the opposite side. But look at the defense, all packed in the lane. Going to make Kentucky try to do something outside. And there's Patterson. And I hearken back to something Calipari.